you are doing is revolutionary. You are so lucky to be creating something new for the Jewish people. These were some of the comments I received when I began my studies at Yeshiva. While I was very happy for the support, I was a little uncomfortable with the idea of being a revolutionary, as revolution implied turning an established entity on its head and possibly destroying a structure of the Jewish community. In the Babylonian Talmud, Tractate Megillah, page 31b, the Gemara relates, release, relates a piece of wisdom that echoes my worries. Tanya Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer, it is taught in a Brita. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar said, if elders tell you to demolish something and children tell you to build, you should demolish and not build because the destruction of the elders is really construction building up and the buildings of the youth are really destruction. Rabbi Shimon ben Alzar is warning us that real change must come from a place of wisdom, experience, and tradition. And if it doesn't, even with the best design and intentions, it is destined to fail. My touchstones for wisdom, knowledge, and experience are my father's, Rabbi David Novak's, books. I use them for research. The footnotes alone are pure gold. And to get a holistic theological approach to halakha and Jewish tradition. In 1984, at the beginning of my senior year of high school, my father asked me to help him to assist him in creating the index for his fifth book, Halakha and a Theological Dimension. Together, we manually wrote down all the entries while camped out on the basement ping pong table in our home in Bayswater, Far Rockaway. This very book contains, ironically, a chapter entitled, Women in the Rabbinate, with a question mark, this section was written during a tumultuous time in the conservative movement, when my father and his fellow traditionalists, with their understanding of an authentic halakha process, voted against women's ordination. Additionally, my father was somewhat alarmed by the feminism at that time, which seemed to embody a nihilistic tone that not only didn't want to work from within the halakhic system, but also seemed to want to destroy traditional Judaism altogether. But at the end of his chapter, my father quite presciently suggests that if women who desire to become rabbis, quote, choose the harder road of learning and reverence, Torah Vira, then I, for one, am willing to say that this traditionalist is willing to become their student. Through this yeshiva, we were and are doing the work, the Torah Vira, that is L'shem Shemayim, for the sake of heaven. That is not to say, however, that many times my work hasn't been very challenging, especially when coming up against those who felt threatened by all women simply teaching Torah. And during those times of exasperation, it was so tempting to completely burn the house down and start over. But when so many want to destroy Torah from without, we can't be complicit in that project, no matter how good and seemingly pure our motives might be, as Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar warned. We must resist the urge to completely destroy, for destruction we can be sure of, but rebuilding, sadly, we cannot. We, my incredible cohort and I, have created and continue to create new palaces of Torah with the building blocks of our wise foremothers and forefathers, including my father, who, true to his word and incredible foresight, is here tonight to learn from our Torah.